weekend looks mild, but what can we expect this week? Let's send it over to our meteorologist, Justin Fanfarelli, for our no wait weather. Justin? And thank you, Katie. Good evening, everybody. Here's a live look outside on our Dakota Magic Casino camera. This is I-29 at the North and South Dakota border. Just a light breeze, mainly from a southwesterly direction, mainly dry with partly to mostly cloudy skies out there right now. And temperatures in that area into the lower 40s, which is a uh, very mild for this time of night and this time of year. Our normal high is 32 degrees. 40 right now in Fargo, near 40. Jamestown Valley City points off to the south near the uh, South Dakota border. Into Lakes Country, we are a little cooler into the mid to upper 30s, making our way further north. Mid 30s across northwestern Minnesota, mid to upper 30s into the Devil's Lake Basin and into the Northern Valley right now. Most of us staying dry with that mild air. We do have the wind starting to pick up though, especially out toward the Northern Valley, Devil's Lake and Jamestown. Wind speeds between 15 and 20 miles per hour from a westerly direction. Now we do have mostly cloudy skies across most of the region right now, but we are seeing a decrease in the clouds and a little bit of some moisture in the form of some drizzle or some light rain showers across northwestern Minnesota and some areas, especially out toward the Faustin area and Hallock. Temperatures are getting just below freezing, so some of this could be falling as some freezing drizzle. Again, most of us staying dry. If you're traveling in this area and see some drizzle, and the temperatures are below freezing, watch out for some uh, slippery roads. We do have this little batch of energy making it way, its way through. Otherwise, high pressure is in charge of our forecast. And that's going to be the story going through the overnight and through the day tomorrow. A, decre a decrease in the clouds overnight, temperatures falling back into the upper 20s to near 30 degrees, which is not bad for this time of year. And the mild air will stay tomorrow with a southerly wind with uh, highs ranging from the mid 30s to lower 40s. And we can't rule out a rain or snow shower, especially in our north or northeastern counties going through your Sunday evening. So a high of 43 in Fargo, mostly cloudy skies, mainly dry into the southern valley of the winds, mainly from a southerly direction around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Coldest air into northwestern Minnesota where they do have that chance of some rain or snow showers later on to the day and warmer low to mid 40s as you make your way south of I-94 and west of I-29. Now as we go through the overnight on uh, uh, Sunday into Monday we do have a chance of some rain or snow showers overnight turning to some snow showers and it looks to be mainly dry uh, across most of the region. Best chance of some snow showers through the day on Monday into portions of northwestern Minnesota. Otherwise partly to mostly cloudy skies. And Monday looks a little cooler with most of us getting into the upper 30s for highs. Here's your photo of the day. It's called Snow Dog in McIntosh, Minnesota. Thank you to Susan for this one using the background of the seven day forecast and uh, pretty warm for tomorrow, a high of 43. I'm gonna keep that chance of some snow showers mainly in our northern and northeastern counties. A little windy on Monday, a high of 38, 33 on Tuesday with mostly sunny or mostly cloudy skies, partly cloudy on Wednesday, 31, 34 on Thursday. Chance of some rain or snow showers into the evening for your Thanksgiving. And then the wind picks up. We're watching a system that could give us some light to moderate amounts of snow for Friday into Saturday as temperatures will fall back into the lower 30s. If people are traveling for Thanksgiving, they might need to be careful with some slick roads potentially. Yeah, especially if they're coming back uh, to the area after Thanksgiving. Watch for next weekend. We'll keep our eye on that storm system. All right. Well, thank you, Justin. Mm -hmm. Still ahead on Valley News Live at 9, new documents could spell trouble for President Donald Trump as the inquiry continues.